Hi, in this video we are going to discuss topology. We're going to talk about what you need in order to study topology and what's the best way to actually learn topology. So for those of you that don't know, topology is typically considered a senior or junior level math subject here in the US. So if you are getting a math degree, typically you will take topology your third or your fourth year. I was fortunate enough to take topology my last year as an undergrad, so I already had a very, very strong math background, and I didn't have a hard time because of that. A lot of my classmates had a lot less math than I did, and they struggled a lot more than I did because their backgrounds were weaker. So if you're thinking about taking a topology course, try to make sure you have a lot of math before you take it. And we're gonna talk about what math you need specifically in a minute. But first, let me just mention that this video was inspired by a short email I received from a viewer here on the channel. Their name is Austin, and I'm gonna start by just briefly reading their email. As always, if you have any advice for this person, leave a comment in the comment section below. When you leave comments, it helps other people who are reading the comments as well. Okay, the person's name is Austin. The subject is learning topology. Hello, I am currently going into my senior year of high school. Wow, and I will be taking Intro to Abstract Algebra, the prereq for Topology 1 and Topology 1 next semester. I am enrolled in a rigorous early college program that allows me to take such classes whilst living on a campus before graduating high school. I am curious on what I should study over the summer to prepare me for topology and ensure that I do not struggle more than expected. Thank you, Austin. So first let me say, wow, wow. You're going into your senior year of high school and you will be taking Intro to Abstract Algebra, the prereq for Topology 1 next semester. So I'm hoping that you know how to write proofs. So that is absolutely the biggest prereq for Abstract Algebra, which you're gonna be taking um, very soon, and Topology 1 next semester. So you need to know how to write proofs. There's plenty of good uh, proof writing books out there. Um, the one by Solo is good, uh, and, and there's others, and I have videos um, on proof writing books. There's just so many good ones. The one by Velman, I think, is probably one of my favorite. And if I remember, I'll leave a link in the description. I, I, I don't have it here with me. So get a proof writing book and learn to write proofs. Now, as far as specifics to topology, I found that when you're doing like the homework problems in topology, like when you're actually like doing topology in your class, you're gonna find that there's a lot of set theoretic things like certain inclusions involving functions that you should know because they're used in the proofs. So if you don't know them, you should be able to prove them on the spot quickly and correctly like a professional. And you can do that by having a strong background in proof writing. And typically, when you learn proof writing, you do a lot of set theory proofs, so you should have a strong command of set theory and how to prove things in set theory before you take topology. I think that's a huge one. Know how to prove all those set theoretic equations and inclusions uh, involving, even the ones that involve injective and surjective functions. Know how to prove all that set theory stuff. Now, a lot of beginner books on topology, and most topology books, We'll review those things briefly, or we'll state them in the book. I was like, here's a theorem, here's eight properties. Make sure you can prove all eight properties, right? Make sure you can prove things cold. Proof writing is where it's at. As far as specific, specific things, like actual topology, I've got a couple recommendations. Recommendation number one is not here because it's not a physical book. It's actually an ebook and it's 100% free. It was written by a man named Sidney Morris, I think a long time ago and it's called Topology Without Tears. You can just Google it, Topology Without Tears, and you'll find it. It is the easiest topology book in the entire world, okay? I have a bunch of topology books and I have looked. There is, in my opinion, there is nothing easier for topology. Does that mean it's an easy book? No, but it's pretty cool and it's got some specialized topics as well. And it talks about proof, it talks about mathematics and what it is. It's a very, very fun read. It's called Topology Without Tears, Google it, it's free, I definitely recommend it. I wish you could buy it because I really would love to have a physical copy, but I'm not sure if you can. I'm not sure if there's a hardcover 
uh, in existence. Topology Without Tears, telling you, the best book ever. Okay, uh, what other books can you get? This is one that's really affordable that I like. It's called Introduction to Topology. It's by Gamelin and Green. I'm just going to smell it. This one actually has full solutions to every single homework problem. You might say, oh, that's perfect. This is all I need. I can just buy this and I have all the answers so I can learn topology. Wrong. You still have to understand the solutions. This book is much more advanced than Topology Without Tears. When you read the proofs in this book, they're written in a much more rigorous fashion than Topology Without Tears. So it's definitely more hardcore. It's a Dover book. Dover is a publishing company that takes old books that are out of print and reprints them and sells them in these heavy duty affordable paperbacks. So definitely, definitely, definitely get this book. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. Super good, it's concise, and those solutions are gonna be crucial. Another book which is really famous, this is uh, the international edition, because it's cheaper, but just get any edition. It's Topology by Monkries. This is a classic and is considered the standard, oh, it smells great, the standard uh, in topology. Oh, what, what a smell. It has like an international edition smell. Yeah, it's nice, awesome, awesome. So great book. But it, it doesn't have answers, right? Monkries doesn't have answers in the back of the book. Um, you can probably Google answers or try to get some answers from AI, but sometimes those are wrong. But it's worth having, it's a great reference. It belongs in every uh, math person's library, uh, Monkries topology. But I, I do think that this one is gonna help you perhaps learn more because it has those answers to the homework problems. And topology without tears is by far gonna be uh, your favorite choice, like if you if you get both of these books, you're going to find that you love Topology Without Tears much better. And it's free. So should you get all, all of them? Yeah, Topology Without Tears is free. Get that one. Or just Google it. It's free. Definitely get this one. And if you can afford it, get Monkreese. Monkreese is going to be a little bit more expensive. Um, I, I would not get the International Edition. I kind of regret it. I think I saved like $10 maybe. And I really wanted a hardcover. So yeah. So that's my advice for Topology. Just get really good at writing proofs. Your abstract algebra course is going to help you. But... Um, yeah, you need a strong command of, uh, of proof writing skills. And let me just say it's amazing. Like, you're in high school, you're learning, you're learning abstract algebra, you're learning topology. Um, Austin, you're very advanced, and uh, most people are, are not where you are. So that's, that's really cool. Yeah, I hope it's been helpful. And if anyone else has advice for Austin, leave a comment in the comment section below. Oh, before I forget, I do have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathbids.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, but if you get them, please use the links from my website for two reasons. One, it helps me greatly, and two, I've lowered the prices to the bare minimum, so if you click my links, you should get a low price. So I do have a course on Abstract Algebra Austin, which can help you. It's pretty good. It's got, it's got assignments, and it's pretty solid. Uh, I don't have a course on topology, but I have free topology videos here on YouTube. Just uh, search for topology. I've got like uh, introductory videos on topology. It's not a huge playlist, but it gets you started. It talks about the definition. You get some examples in my videos that you might not find in this book. In fact, you won't find them in this book, and you won't find them in this book. So you'll get some easier examples uh, that most people can understand in my videos. And, and check out Topology Without Tears. It's an excellent book, and it's free and it can help you get started with topology. If anyone else has advice for Austin or on topology, leave a comment below. And if you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. Key takeaway, topology is super hard. You need to have a solid command on, set, on, on proof writing, know how to prove everything with sets, just have a strong command of proof writing, and you will love topology. If you don't know how to write proofs or if you're not very good at it, it's gonna be frustrating. But if you know how to write proofs, topology really isn't that bad. I hope it's been helpful. Keep doing mathematics.